so as we remember from last time uh, we are playing my rogue there we go let's get the sound back in here and I believe we had grabbed one quest and we're gonna ignore everybody's spelling of their names we have two silver hmm I don't know where the rogue trainer is. Is he down here? Rogue trainer. There we go. Can I help you? Karen. Okay. We can't learn anything yet. When do we learn? Oh, it's not going to be under combat. Dual wields level 10. Okay, good to know. Pick lock is 16. We get our first poison at 30. Okay. Distract is 22. Sap is 10 though. Okay. Have a good one. So we don't need to come back for a while. We're level five. Okay. Let's get this. Hello. Place. William Pestle. Large candles. Okay. Safe travels. Okay. That's gonna be a rough going. I'm not gonna pick up any other professions you yet. Need something? See you later. Ah, I probably should though. I don't know if I can afford the profession and the... Sorry, I love the tree fitty. The tree fitty joke. Joke. Hey there. Okay, 10 copper. Hey there. And... 10 copper. All right. See you around. So we can make for ourselves now and I have another character that's gonna feed leather here so this is the so just so you know we, we were up here last episode we finished all the quests down there and we ran down here and now everybody wants to send us to the Fargo deep mine because that's where all three of these quests send us and we're gonna see with my one silver I can always sell my malachite. So I think it's good for a handful of coppers. What can I do for you? Yeah, if we can sell that. Sell that. Skinning knife does more damage than my. Light yeah, no, no, you. you know it's fine. Here's what we're gonna do. It's level six. We're gonna, we're gonna give this a shot. And I'm on the right. Oh, we've been on the right thing. Ah. So rogues have quite possibly some of the highest damage output, I think, in the game. They're also the most survivable at high levels, but at low levels they are super dead if they're not prepared. Because today are the problem is is that everything right now is higher level than me, like by a fair margin. and goofing around.
But yeah, so if you ever see a rogue just wandering around, not doing anything, this is what they're actually doing. Run! Run for my life! saved him. <laughs> I don't know if this is fun. I guess it is because I've got a stupid smile on my face. But... What's up, Tanner? Have you heard of the World of Warcraft Classic? So we had a friend that we had played other games with, and he got us in, oop, mother, he got us in the beta right before launch. So like just before the game launched, got us in the beta. And we were like, this is awesome. And we ended up, because we had played uh, Anarchy Online with them. And we were like, all right, great. We're going to play. We're going to play World of Warcraft. And it came out and like the servers crashed and there were, uh, there was just all the mayhem that comes from launch. And we were like, all right, we got to, we, we're, we're going to, we're going to wait. So I think we, I think it came out like sometime around my birthday, November. And then we didn't start playing until like. January of the next year, like playing for real. For one real. of the things that sold me on this game, that was like, ah, oh, I, I am, I am yours. Is this right here? I could sit in a chair. EverQuest couldn't sit in a chair. Ultima Online, you could sit in a chair. Yes. Kind of silence. What can I do for you? Have a good one. Okay. What's up? I still love those quests. Like, hey, this this guy wants to talk to you. Where is he? Over there. He's just just turn around. 
Yep, that's it. What can I do for you? They have different jokes and they have different flirts. And when you type slash silly, you get... So, an orc walks into a bar with a parrot on his shoulder. The bartender says, hey, where'd you get that? The parrot says, Duratar, they got them all over the place. Which is a funny joke, not the one that there are, and there are a handful of them. A guy walked up to me and said, I'm a teepee, I'm a wigwam, I'm a teepee, I'm a wigwam. I said, relax, man, you're too tense. Let it sink in. That is, that is a dad joke if ever I heard one. Which I think is why I like playing the human males, just because they have, like, they are, they are dad joke incarnate. So, this is Goldshire, and we're walking to, like, over here. And we're going to make this walk a lot. So, we're going to cut out probably a lot of this, because... Oof. Like the waterfall? I don't think it's as loud for you guys, but it's pretty deafening for me. I kind of hate it. Sorry. Trust me, if it's loud for you guys, it's louder for me. I failed to skin a sheep. Oh, I forgot about that. Sorry. Totally forgot that when you skin cheap, you get wool. Hmm. I think if I sing log, I'll get a DMCA strike. Cause it just ran through my head. Then again, stuff runs through my head all day. So here's how gouge works. Eventually it will work a lot better, but so you're, let's say you're in trouble, you go, oh. you sneak around, and then you get a second guy on you, so you do him. gonna come hang out with Sarah and just chill here for the night all right uh, we will pick this up again in episode 3 thank you very much for watching as always play on <laughs>